Hi everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. In today's video, we're doing a glam Dollar Tree DIY. First thing we're making is this really adorable wall art sign. So I picked up three of these frames they have out at the Dollar Tree. Aren't they just so adorable? They have these little clips on them for hanging pictures. So I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm just going to connect all three of the pictures together to make a long wall art sign. Next, I'm gonna come in with this diamond wrap that you can pick up at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to glue it down the length of my frame on either side. So you just wanna cut it off so that it's perfectly the correct size of your frame. And then I just use a little bit of hot glue because if you use too much, it'll start seeping through and you'll see it on the other side. Next, what I decided to do was use some number cards to put on my wall art sign. So I'm just taking this little four by six card and cutting out some black card stock. If you wanted to use pictures, you could do that. I was just trying to make it a little bit decorative, but if you want to use pictures instead, that would look great here. So I'm just going to cut out three of these little card stock signs. Next, I'm gonna come in with these number stencils. I picked these up at Walmart in their craft section, and it's just a set of numbers, and you just stick them on, and then I'm gonna come in with some white paint that I picked up at uh, Walmart as well, and then I'm just going to dab that in, doing two coats on each of the numbers. These stencils are really great. They stick really well, and even after you've washed them, they still have some sticky on them. And so I really think these are great to have on hand. I've used them several times. So I'm going to just finish up the other three numbers and then I will put them onto my board, clipping them in place. Before I do that, I'm going to make a little wall hanging here. So I'm just taking some white ribbon that I had on hand and I'm going to hot glue it to the back. That way I could hang it up with a nail or anything that I had hanging on the wall. And then just to make it a little bit extra stable, I'm going to put some duct tape on the back. And I think this is a super cute sign for $4. I love these frames. I really hope you guys are able to find these frames at your store. The next project we're going to do is this really cute Hope tray that I put together. So what you're gonna need is a piece of foam board. I just used leftovers that I had on hand. And you're going to need this Hope sign. And then I also picked up four of these little wooden signs that they have out right now at Dollar Tree. But I decided with two of the pieces that I was going to cut them down so they fit a smaller size. So I just kind of put them around my foam board to see how much foam board I had and I trimmed the other two down with a saw. Next, I'm going to come in with this marble paper. You guys have seen me use this before. I picked this marble paper up at Walmart in their little shelf paper section. It's pretty inexpensive and I've used a roll for so many different projects. So I'm just going to wrap the paper around both of these edges. And the key here is just take your time, go slow, do a side and then turn it and then do another side, making sure you get all the bubbles out before you continue. 
And then on the ends, I'm just gonna wrap them up like a present. And if you need any additional hot glue, just use some hot glue on the end to hold it in place. So I'm just going to repeat that same step with all four of the wood block signs. And then I'm gonna put them together in the shape of a rectangle. And then I'm just going to glue them in place. I'm gonna take my foam board and put it underneath and make sure my foam board is the correct size. I can always make adjustments, cut that foam board if I need to as well. From there, I'm going to cover up my bottom foam board with that same marble paper. So I'm just going to cut a piece big enough, wrap it around the edges, make sure that there's no bubbles. On the ends, I'll wrap those up like a present as well, and that should hold in place just fine. Next, I'm gonna put my wood pieces back on top and I'm going to run a bead of hot glue all around the edge to glue this in place. And measure out this diamond wrap so it wraps around the front portion and I'm just going to trim it off I did have to trim off a little bit of excess at the bottom as well and then what you're gonna do is hot glue on one side but not don't put any hot glue on the front side and then you're just gonna wrap it to the other side and put your hot glue on that side that way you don't have any hot glue seeping through and that's really all you need to do to make a super cute mirror. I decided to just put mine where it just sits in place. You could always hot glue that in there if you wanted to, but mine's just sitting. Next, I made these really glam candlesticks. So you need these little white candles that they have at Dollar Tree and some more of that diamond wrap, as well as some of these cute candle stands. I'm loving these. And so all I'm going to do is simply wrap a bead around my candle of the diamond wrap. 
Super simple, but when put in a grouping, I think it looks just really cute. The thing you want to remember about these candles is just put them next to each other whenever you're gluing the second one, just to make sure that you're putting them about the same height and they look identical. Okay, you guys are gonna have to let me know below if you like this Dollar Tree Glam video. This is a little bit different than ones I normally do, but give me a thumbs up if you like it so I'll know to do more like this in the future. Have you guys checked out my Dollar Tree Farmhouse video yet? I'm gonna link it right here. It's my newest one out. I know you guys are gonna love it, so just click right here to go watch that video next. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.